This video is a buster call. To find out more about how you can get me to do a personalized video on a topic of your choosing, head over to patreon.com slash grandlinereview and scroll down to the Admiral tier. But for now, enjoy the video. Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be investigating the realm of intrigue that exists within the One Piece world by focusing on some of the more curious questions that we've developed over the course of the series. Now One Piece is certainly no stranger to lingering meta mysteries. In fact, it's a key part of the addicting formula of the story, generally deliberately leaving us with more questions than answers. So we are going to take a look at some of the greatest questions of all. The criteria for this list is relatively simple. The mystery in question must not have an official explanation. I don't care what fan theories are out there or how much sense they make, which isn't generally often, but the most important thing is that we do not conclusively have an answer. Furthermore, a lot of the subject matter appearing here today can be spoken about for hours on end, but I won't be doing that. So if I fail to state literally every fact about a certain mystery, then just chill, chill guys. Sadly, the intention of this video is not to solve said mysteries, but to present them. Also, all the mysteries on this list must be canon, because I'm not sure if there even are non kind of mysteries in One Piece, but if they do exist, I certainly don't care. But with that, out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the top five unsolved mysteries in One Piece. Number five. Blackbeard's multiple devil fruits. Kicking things off today, we have a moment that quite literally shook the world thanks to the Guru Guru enemy, get it? Whereby at the end of the Marine for Dark, Blackbeard was somehow able to acquire a second devil fruit and use its ability in tandem with his first. This moment turned all accepted knowledge of devil fruits on its head and exactly how Mr. Blackbeard was able to accomplish this feat is still a mystery at the time of this recording. All thanks to the power of a dark sheet. Now to a fair few people in the One Piece fan base, this isn't a mystery at all because they've come to live in their own world of accepted headcanon and claim that this is possible due to the effects of the Yami Yami no Mi. And to put it simply, that might not be true. I'll concede that it is highly likely due to the fact that the Yami Yami no Mi can cancel out other fruit abilities, but at this stage, there is no way to know for sure. And honestly, if it were that simple, I just don't see the need for Oda to keep it hidden all this time. It would be a really disappointing solution to a mystery that has endured for almost a third of the series at this point. Plus there is a potential second explanation, which is the deeper layer of mystery attached to Black Beard himself. Throughout the series, there have been a couple of hints that Blackbeard is far from a regular human being, the most prominent of which is right in front of our eyes in the form of the Blackbeard Pirate's Jolly Roger, one of only two in the series to contain multiple skulls, which I find fascinating given that a Jolly Roger is generally a direct representation of the captain of that pirate crew. I mean, for example, the other Jolly Roger with multiple skulls belongs to the DeCalvin brothers who co-captain their crew and hence two skulls make sense. But why is Blackbeard a supposedly singular entity represented by three skulls rather than one. Well, I'll leave that to the abundance of theory channels out there, but the mystery surrounding this man, as well as how he can hold multiple devil fruits, is very potentially much deeper than we suspect. However, not quite as deep as the rest of the mysteries on this list. Number four. Whatever the hell this thing was at the end of Thriller Bark. This is probably one of, if not the biggest tease in the entirety of One Piece. Following the conclusion of Thriller Bark, this entity was spotted by Lola and Lola alone actually, and it was accompanied by a note from the narrator saying that it was very fortunate that the white mist was still lingering in the Florian Triangle, covering the eerie face of what may be the largest creature we've ever seen in this world. I mean, just look at that perspective in relationship to Thriller Bark, which is the world's largest pirate ship. It's absolutely insane. The narrator also heavily implied that whatever this is, is in fact the one responsible for the disappearance of over 100 ships a year in the Florian Triangle, a legend that began long before Thriller Bark arrived in the area. But I guess the most annoying thing about this mystery is that it may never be solved. For every other contender on this list, I am 100% certain that we will receive an answer in time. But in this case, finding the solution could only detract from what this mystery represents. The idea that as much as we explore this world is simply far too big for us to ever achieve a complete understanding of it. There will always be an unknown factor, which has frustrating as it might be, is one of the key reasons why readers and watchers alike continue to lust for adventure in this series. Number three, Joy Boy. As quite possibly the oldest named individual in the series, Joy Boy is entirely surrounded by a thick fog of mystery. Not a literal one like the Florian Triangle monster, but a more metaphorical one. All we know of him thus far comes courtesy of a poneglyph telling us of a time around 800 years prior to modern day. The poneglyph was written as an apology letter actually, with Joy Boy lamenting a broken promise to Poseidon, one of the ancient weapons that seems to inhabit certain mermaid royalty. Joy Boy was a human allegedly attempting to do something involving the Noah with Poseidon's help, but for reasons currently unknown, was 
unsuccessful. And that's kind of it. But that's all we really need to consider him one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in the series, primarily because he is a named figure in history, and history is not something that One Piece tends to showcase a whole lot. I mean, yes, it's there, but it's kept deliberately shrouded from us as an audience because we're exploring this world through Luffy's perspective. Speaking of that history though, it's pretty difficult to continue talking about Joy Boy without bringing up number two, the Void Century. As the name implies, this is a space of roughly 100 years, which occurred somewhere between 800 to 900 years prior to the current timeline. Very, very conveniently within Joy Boy's era. The problem is that there are almost no historical records of this period. As far as the world is concerned, these years just didn't happen. Although the true history of the world is engraved onto the nine Rio Poneglyphs, but finding them is an extraordinary effort to say the least. With that said, as an audience, we do know tiny bits and pieces, such as the existence of a great kingdom, which was destroyed by the 20 kingdoms that later amounted amalgamated into the world government, signifying the end of the void century. With that sort of global dominance, it becomes an entirely reasonable thought that they could have rid the world of any evidence of the past century. But the pressing question is why? What exactly do the world government and the celestial dragons have to hide? Whatever it is, it is going to completely rock the One Piece world. And yet there is still one particular mystery that trumps it. Number one. The Will of D. All right, here we have the question that readers have been pondering ever since the beginning of the series. What does the D in Monkey D. Luffy stand for? And 20 years on, we still don't have much of an idea at all. If anything, the mystery has only intensified over the course of the series, as several other characters have popped up with this seemingly innocuous middle initial, including the former Pirate King Goldie Roger, as well as the subject of the number five spot on this list, Blackbeard, AKA Marshall D. Teach. With that said, there are most certainly characters within the world who at the very least know about about the Will of D, although exactly how much they know is up for debate. At this stage, the individual who has provided the most information would be Don Quixote Rocinante, who revealed that this initial had been secretly inherited throughout history, and that in a certain land, which is probably referring to Marichois, those who bear this initial are considered the enemy of the gods, aka the celestial dragons. However, apart from the initial, the bearers of the D <laughs> also share a couple of other common traits. Firstly, they are all highly subject to the machinations of fate. For better or worse, the actions of these characters seem almost out of their own control. However, in the worst case scenario, another curious trait pops up, whereby all of those subject to the will of D die with a smile on their face. Very intriguing indeed, and certainly one of the most enduring unsolved mysteries in the series. And that pretty much does it for the top five unsolved mysteries in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your own favorite unsolved mysteries in the series. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.